Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to be doing another video looking at some of the settings on a GoPro Hero 5. One of the things that confused me when I purchased mine was the fact that they have these different field of views that you can put in the settings and they don't say anywhere on the website whether it is a field of view if they're using a optical or if they're using a digital zooming feature and it makes a really big difference to me at least because if all it's doing is cropping the photo using a digital zoom then it's not really necessary to use a more narrow field of view because you can just crop it after the video is taken but if they are actually using some sort of optical zoom or I've seen a number of people claiming they use some different different systems. The lens doesn't actually move in the camera but uh, that they were saying they're using different parts of the sensors and I can't verify any of that on their website so my thought was I would take a look at taking some photos with a tripod and zooming in on them and seeing if I'm getting any difference other than just a cropping effect. Now to demonstrate what I'm talking about with a optical zoom is I have a picture here that was taken with a 18 millimeter lens on a different camera and it was set on a tripod and when I go in if I want to see the emblem on the front of this vehicle it begins to get distorted because that's the, that's the amount of pixels it's captured. Now I had the tripod in the same place and I took a photo with the lens zoomed in to 55 millimeters and when you zoom in you can see it's much more clear. So if I were to take the original picture and I just wanted to get the picture of this lens if I'm using a digital zoom it would look the same regardless of where I am it, zooming in wise. I would actually have to physically get closer to what I'm taking a picture of in order to get more pixels in that smaller area. So the setup that I used is I put a tripod you can see the distance away from the vehicle that I'm shooting it at and then I took and I did this with the photos and I also did it with um, the 1080 video on all of the settings so if we take a look at the photos that I got we'll start with the wide view photo now I'm going to look at this door handle and see how clear it is when I zoom in so if I zoom up to the edge there, you can see it's a little pixelated. But if I go to the medium view photo and I zoom in on that same door handle, you can see I basically have the same picture. It is not like the first one that I showed you with an actual zoom lens camera. It is looks to me like it's just cropping this. Um, so essentially this photo that I have here, this medium photo, is identical to this large photo except for the fact that it's just cut out in the center. And if I go to the narrow view and I zoom in on that door handle, again, I pretty much have exactly the same picture. Now, the last view does seem to remove the fisheye effect from it but again if I try to zoom in on that exact same point you'll see I basically have the exact same picture which means there really isn't an advantage to using the more narrow field of views it is taking the exact same picture and after you take it you could take and crop it and get the same effect on it. It's nice if you know that you're not going to need the outside border of your picture, but it's real important to remember that this is not a 12 megapixel 
picture anymore. When I'm going to my narrow view, if you look at the properties, it's going to say that it's the same resolution as the wide view, but it's actually cropped it before you get the picture. So this will come out, if you were to blow it up on a large print, it's not going to look as good or as clear as the wide one. The other thing that I did is took the five different field of view settings with the 1080 at 30 frames a second and I put them into a video and I cropped them so that they all were approximately the same size. Then I reprocessed the video and did a four times zoom on each one and if you look at them even in the video mode it certainly appears to me that the only effect that this has is cropping it. Hopefully you found this interesting and thanks for watching.